In uh, 2005, the product of um, uh, NH Consensus Conference um, is uh, the, the important fact that the field was finally defined to allow organized research by the transport community to move forward. Uh, six publications uh, uh, came out in a rapid succession in the Journal of American Society of Blood and Marrow Transplantation, papers that were covering key areas, uh, diagnosis and staging, histopathology, biomarkers, response criteria, everything essential for the researchers and, and, and the investigators to, to, to proceed in an organized manner. And a number of initiatives were subsequently uh, coming out of this effort. A number of uh, grants have been already funded by the NIH, and uh, Stephanie Lee will uh, mention some of this uh, research in progress in her presentation uh, that will follow. Um, I will take a moment here to acknowledge uh, uh, Georgia Vogelsang, my co-chair uh, of the uh, NIH consensus effort, a friend and, and a colleague, uh, recognizing her uh, incredible uh, uh, lifetime achievement efforts that she received the 2000 um, uh, ASBMT award for her impact on the, uh, on the, on the field, a uh, particular clinical field of chronic graft versus host disease. And Georgia is credited by the implementing the multidisciplinary multidisciplinary care approach in the clinical care of uh, patients uh, with chronic graft versus host disease who are survivors after transplantation. One of the conclusions of the NIH effort is that the best treatment of chronic GVHD is a clinical trial, if available. There are not enough trials being available enough, uh, uh, but uh, our belief is that uh, if progress is to be made, we need more clinical trials, more patients being enrolled in clinical trials. Uh, it's known that patients get uh, the best structured and uh, care on clinical trials. And uh, uh, there is a website, uh, there are not too many actually very good resources for patients uh, uh, to learn more about clinical trials. One of the best, I would say, is clinicaltrials.gov that's available for those who try to find more information. Um, at the NIH Clinical Center in Bethesda, uh, we are using the unique opportunities of having uh, uh, working together uh, clinical investigators uh, and uh, laboratory scientists in uh, studying chronic graft versus host disease, studying bone marrow transplants, and uh, uh, working on overcoming barriers in, in, in implementation of this form of therapy for cancer patients and other diseases. Uh, in 2003, we formed the NIH GVD study group to create a high quality multidisciplinary uh, program to address challenges that have been hard to address uh, outside the intramural uh, NIH, establishing clinical infrastructure, studies of uh, GVG biology, development of uh, uh, treatments, uh, and leadership in the field where the NIH consensus effort is part of that. This is the illustration of the uh, multidisciplinary care approach that uh, we are taking uh, uh, and implementing uh, at the intramural NIH. Uh, and uh, you can see how many uh, um, specialists uh, uh, are uh, included in this. These are not only specialists, but as well as clinical investigators that as an integral of the clinical care, they have vested interest in uh, developing and advancing treatments for their area of interest, working hands by hands with the laboratory research infrastructure at the intramural NIH. And there is no great research or great clinical care without a great team. And this is a photo Photograph of the uh, NIH study group, uh, and I would like to acknowledge and thank to all the collaborators and and, and patients that uh, that are uh, participating in this effort. A um, few remaining final slides about uh, some barriers to optimal survivorship, uh, about this uh, care that's lost in translation from cancer patients into a survivor. Providers are facing a fragmented uh, healthcare delivery system. Uh, we know quite well, too well about those. A lack of formal training in survivorship care. There's not such a training entity to train about survivorship care. A uh, lack of evidence-based standards of care. Uh, we need more research to create evidence. Communication and continuity of care across time and providers. Is survivorship is a long trajectory over years, and many providers, they are geographically uh, uh, spread, uh, scattered throughout the time. It's a profound challenge. The workforce 
court's capacity for delivering survivorship care is a major problem that's increasingly mounting and we're going facing with a uh, lack of uh, uh, providers, uh, uh, clinicians, physicians, uh, uh, nurse practitioners uh, to, to provide sufficient uh, follow-up care for a growing number of uh, survivors after bone marrow transplant but uh, after cancer treatment in general. Some barriers facing survivors, fragmented healthcare delivery system again, uh, uh, with uh, multiple specialists involved. The current healthcare system is not well suited to, to take care of chronic patients with multiple organ system. To implement the necessary interdisciplinary approach, uh, there's a need for centers of excellence to be better defined and supported, to reduce uh, healthcare access barriers imported, whether those barriers are uh, language, uh, uh, financial, uh, geographical, physical, and others. Uh, clinical trials uh, participation facilitation and support of funding for those trials or insurance funding for patients who are on these trials. Barriers to communication, shifting from cancer focus instead of into the survivorship focus uh, in discussion uh, and, and access to information of survivorship as well as creation of uh, survivorship care plans. All these things that are still lacking in, in the, uh, many practices. Um, I would like to end up on a positive note, uh, and uh, this is a picture uh, very dear to me, kindly provided by Dr. Bill Wan of the uh, Bomber Transfer Program at the University of uh, Alabama uh, in Birmingham, and showing a patient uh, with chronic graft host disease who actually, with, while struggling with chronic graft host disease, became pregnant and was able to deliver a healthy baby, illustrating the, 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 the face and courage of this patient, uh, uh, patients uh, and uh, and uh, a changing phase of bone marrow transplant where in the end of the day there's a light at the end of the tunnel and it's important to emphasize that ultimately 90% of chronic graft versus host disease patients are able to retain or go back to almost normal function although it could take years to get to that point. This slide is uh, to make uh, two points. Uh, one uh, is to say that bone marrow transplantation, although being a treatment for cancer as a, a key indication, hematologic malignancies, as well as a treatment for many patients with life-threatening diseases like immune deficiencies, uh, autoimmune diseases. And uh, here is a patient who is, uh, at that point was in wheelchair, uh, uh, who had a, a systemic lupus, another uh, systemic autoimmune disease, multi-system reminiscent in some way on chronic graft versus host disease. He was treated on an investigational protocol at the NIH Clinical Center. The other point is to emphasize the power of advocacy, the things we can do if we, can, if we work together jointly and united. Sean on this occasion uh, uh, is witnessing the signing ceremony declaring a day of uh, fight against lupus in the state of Utah. This is the, at that time Utah uh, uh, Governor uh, John Huntsman who is currently the ambassador in China, uh, but again emphasizing the power of advocacy. He is shown uh, uh, in April of 2006 able to walk after close to a year after his bone marrow transplant. He keeps recovering uh, uh, and improving his function. The future of chronic GVH, the continuous community effort of all stakeholders, including patients and families, is essential in order to reach desired goals in controlling and preventing chronic GVHD. Most severe forms will hopefully disappear in the next uh, 10 years with early detection of those at risk and uh, preemptive therapies. We will learn as well, we hope, how to better use chronic GVHG associated anti-tumor effects and use them further to benefit of our patients. Thank you very much.